Spark a conversation, verbal elation, stimulation, education. This is Minaj with the Mary Jane Maven. When we on the air, it's always a lituation. Might talk about some litigation, might talk about some immigration, might talk about some politics, but never talk nonsense. Yes, we on in this live. Watch and listen, it's a vibe. Watch it while you getting high, or you can listen while you drive. Just don't forget to subscribe. Roll up. I'm trying to get high. Welcome to Menage with the Mary Jane Maven podcast with your host, the Mary Jane Maven. I am the producer, the hubby, the hubby, the hubby. Follow us on all social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Show us some love and click that subscribe button now. Don't forget to click the bell so you get notifications and click the like button on the videos. And now, your host. <laughs> Oh, so first and foremost, I have to say, I knew I said like what a year ago, I was like, I'm manifesting us meeting now. So this is a little different. You know, we're meeting through Skype, but we will be in each other's vicinity one day soon. But I wanted to thank you so much for coming on, everybody. This is Tyler Therapy. If you don't yeah. know, you will know. Me. Yes. And you What's better go follow. Up, uh... She's an influencer that I would say she's the influencer within the cannabis community right now. She's doing something that is completely different, new, um, and something that's going to be long lasting. I have to say that I'm blessed to be able to follow her, speak with her, and be a winner of um, one of her many ventures, um, of some of her merch, which is what I'm wearing today. I have won it before, so anybody that's watched be like, ooh, she repeating outfits. Yes, I am. I but I mean, Yes, right there. Had to rep, had to rep, had to rep all day. So, yes, but I will also be investing in a bad mother puffer. I yeah. see, you know, some merch there. Fire, yeah. Yes. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. How is your day going, Miss Birthday Girl? Oh, well, it word. was my mom's birthday. <laughs> oh, your mom's birthday. Yes, she turned 50, so we wanted to do something <laughs> special for her. Okay, and well, that's lit. Happy birthday to mama. A full yeah. celebration for everybody who's celebrating a birthday this month. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Yeah, I was supposed to be at that, and I, the people who I was traveling with catted on me, literally, like, on the 19th, like, catted on me. Like, I was I was ready to go and everything. Like, Are you serious? Like, yes, bro. Yeah, I'm on the beach. Yeah, on beach, beach, you beach. did. Yeah. Yes. They straight catted on me, bro. I was really supposed to be there. I was trying to come down there and meet all of them and everything, like. Well, we're gonna have to take a trip down there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to take a trip because yeah, I know you ain't gonna count on where, where no. is it at? No, it down the SoCal. It was in the uh, uh, fashion fashion district. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's yes. So I would like to, uh, you know, introduce you if you don't. I mean, you obviously know Mr. Machaz over here, my, my little bro. Chaz. And then we have Ms. Vita is my <laughs> co-host. <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, so we, I'm very excited. As I'm sure I've already said two or three times, I'm starting to get lit, which is good. But um, I've been a fan of yours for almost a year and a half, probably, if not longer. That's dope. Thanks for puffing with me. Yeah. Yes, all day, <laughs> all day. I've really admired what you're doing. Um, why don't you share a little bit about who you are and what it is that you bring to this wonderful universe and in the cannabis space? Yeah, so um, I'm Tyler Therapy. Nice to meet everyone. I'm also the baddest mother puff alive. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Which Afro yes, puffs? Yes, yes. yes I Rock, puff, rough, puff my Afro puffs. puffs. Yes. I, I do a lot um, in the cannabis favorite. community, in the cannabis space. Um, I represent for the cannabis culture and just the culture as a black woman in cannabis. Yes. Period. So, um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, I, you know, I infuse me my musical stylings. Um, you know, like some of you know, I rap. So I have a song that um, is a parody of Lady of Rage. Hey, uh, <laughs> rock yes, on. Afro Puff. Yes. She inspired me and, you know, I, I rap, I'm an actress, so I wanted to kind of like do a spinoff of that and infuse it. Um, into what I'm doing within the cannabis space and it was inspired by my show the puff show and um, Everything I do is like about being natural and my natural hair and just you know 
a black woman in cannabis, like I said. So I wanted to elevate everything that, you know, makes us great. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I infused it into what I do as an influencer on the yes. influencer side. And I uh, make, like, creative musical bops. Yes. So I just yeah. always wanted to like kind of channel everything about so who I am and what I do like into cannabis and, and show that cannabis inspires every movement that I put out. So Yes, nice. and you do an excellent job. And I know I will say when she released, you know, her uh, you know, her take on uh, Lady of Rage, I was like, first of all, because you know, I, she's just a couple of years younger than me. I was like, what you know about <laughs> Lady so of Rage? But you did a really good job. I've always wanted to ask, did you ever were you able able to get that in front of her? Does she know anything about it? Has it been shared? She does or? know about it. She follows me. So when that Oh, that's me, awesome kind of started like she followed me right away and she told me like you should always sh shoot your shot no matter what you know yeah, so okay. I mean I invited her to try and be a part of like my music video mm -hmm. for it and um you know she couldn't she wasn't available but I just hope that one day uh that I get her on the track maybe on a remix or that something. That would be fire. Yeah, no, I not know, hope, it's going to happen. It, it's within my reach because yes. she already follows me and she's commented on the song, you know, so I just like I'm sure you already see it in your head, right? Yeah, and So yeah. it's already happening. Yeah. Just go it's ahead gonna happen. and get to that point. You speak it into existence. Exactly. I believe it can happen. I've always kind of thought about you doing a remix to or um Yo-Yo too can't oh, yeah. play with my yoga yo. it's so cool yeah. that people like when i was really diving into the youtube life like people were starting to like tell me their requests like oh can you read can you make a, a stoner anthem version of this song and this old school song? yeah and i'm just like you know what that's funny that those arts are my requests like people be like oh what do you want to see in my next video I want to see you remix this song. <laughs> yeah, that would be dope. I mean, that's that's <laughs> kind of what sets you apart as an influencer as well. You don't just rely on, you know, waking up in the morning and taking your supposed fresh-faced dab, you know, in the morning, you know, in your in your panties and bra. And, <laughs> hey, no, not knocking, no not shade to anybody that's not doing not, that. That's not my path. Exactly. I just want to show women that you don't, have to do that to make a stamp or show your purpose right. maybe that's so, like i said like we both said it, we're not knocking no. those women mm -hmm. maybe that's their purpose mm -hmm. but um for for those who just want to show that there's a higher purpose and you can elevate the cannabis community and the women within it yes um, without like having to show mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. side. Being an accessory. We have an opportunity yeah. to make this industry one that is very inclusive um, and equitable for people of color and for women and especially women of color. You know, we, uh, I've said it before and you know, this is gonna be hashtag. I've said it before, I'll say it again. You know, we have an opportunity with a new business sector to really make opportunities for tons of people. Right. Um, and to, no, and like once again, nothing's wrong with it because in every aspect of every business, fashion, beauty, that type of thing is important. But there's a way to do it where you're not seen as an accessory, right. but you're seen as somebody who's really truly doing marketing or yeah. somebody that can truly influence. And Yo-Yo um, was big on just being like a bold female who didn't need to show the body. And so sometimes the body is distracting to your point. You want people to get you for cannabis, not just for the fact that you're a super hottie, right? Yeah. Right, exactly, exactly that. And and for me, like, I don't know why, but, you know, like, I'm more than just online. Like, I get out within the community in the space so people will see me in person. And for me, I just like to surprise people with how I look. And um, it's funny to see, like, people's reactions. They'll be like, oh, I, I didn't know she was that thick or I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> You know, and, and that's cool to me. Like, yeah. I'd rather surprise people or save it for the imagination. So yeah. when they actually see me, they're like, Save a little something. Yeah, you know yeah. no. And like you said, no one's knocking. Everybody does, you know, got their thing. But... Yeah. Yes. Well, what I wanted to ask, do you think that you being a mother kind of plays into that decision 
to, you know, to do what you're doing in a different manner, to not kind of fall into that, you yeah, know. Yeah, a big part of that does, because, you know, like, like, um, I'm a mother to a, a young boy. That Who I'm is a to. cutie pie. Thanks. This so is all, cute. like, so How new, bro. I thought Tyler How was, old like, is he? I thought Tyler was, like, 23. He's going to be two That's in two months. Okay, I cannot okay. believe this. Oh, still a fun, baby. mama. Have fun. Twos are so fun. Oh, yeah, the, right. Yeah. But does so it concern fun. you, like, content that he may see later on? Is that a yeah, thought? I, mean, I don't want him. <laughs> you know, kids, like, man, just what they're growing, the age that they're mm -hmm, growing up mm -hmm. in now, like, you, t you have to really be careful. I just don't want people to be like, dang, your mama thought. You know? <laughs> right? <laughs> no, and, and, like and, that, and no. you know, like, you can be sometimes, but it's a time and a place and, you know, in a space. And I just don't right. think cyberspace is for that. That, you know? right. right. Yeah. So you're an influence, like, and these are kids, and, and um, it's more than just your kid. And it's like mm. uh, a whole audience, and, you know, um, and I'm working with cannabis, so you well, want to really yeah. be careful of the message yep. that you put out there when you're when a younger generation is watching mm -hmm. because they're the future and and they have to understand that this is medicine yeah. and you know like it's and and young girls out there I don't want them to think that it's like you, you gotta sexualize a a plant yes mm -hmm. here to heal mm -hmm. you and it's already doing its job so why do you need uh, well, you know, one thing facts. that's good for especially with somebody like Tyler, like what she doing is that you educating people because weed is everywhere now. Like okay. it's legal. Like my my yeah. home girl, uh, she was saying like she's she she needs like CBD drops or something like that, but she's scared to tell her parents because she don't mm -hmm. know how they react. And then she told her mom, but her mom was cool with it, so she don't want to tell her dad. She don't know how her dad would yeah. feel. Yeah. But I'm letting them know like weed is everywhere. Like you you can go mm -hmm. to Walgreens and see CBD. So when you got somebody like Tyler, how she doing? Is she doing it in a in a in a uh, not aggressive manner but assertive manner like this is what i do this is how i do it i'm not i'm not yeah. slow bro i'm not the ain't nobody the stereotypical stoner no more ain't no stoner movies Absolutely. about except yeah. for how high too that was hella dumb but oh my gosh that, like i watched that, like, two and a half minutes of that and i was like babe i can't was, oh, that was, i can't oh, do yeah, it when, uh, uh, when yadi got pulled in yeah, by the girl that's a you, oh that is exactly God, how far we got did. into it no, i was like i can't yeah, what, and then he was they was like this some gas yeah, so, yeah yeah they were in the car i was yeah. like we're gonna turn that off let's yeah, see it was what, horrible. what else no, is on no, netflix but just right. kids like everything on the internet tiktok yeah. instagram all the stuff on there so when you can get the content of this is cannabis this is what can do for you because when i was in high school we was just purple you feel me that's what it was cookies that's it you feel me we loaded, but now you you get some weed. People be like, "Oh, this is what it'll do to me." You this see what, what it, it does for you, especially. So you want some yeah. social responsibility.